Welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and this is lesson 3 on learning Windows 8.1 for beginners. So in lesson 1 we learned what Windows 8.1 is and how to get that update. In lesson 2 we've learned uh, going around the start screen, how to move around the tiles, how to get the charms bar and the uh, app bar and so now we will go a little bit in more detail about one of the features which is the charms bar so if you have a touch device swipe from the edge of the right edge of your screen to the left to get a charms bar if you don't go into the corners like I've shown you to get the charms bar open and the charms bar has five icons on it the search, the share, the start, the devices, and the settings. The charms bar is available almost anywhere on your screen. So even if you're in an app, you can get the charms bar. If you're in a different program, there are good chances that you will be able to get the charms bar. If you're using older software, there might be a possibility that the charms bar is unavailable but in most pieces of software that you'll use and every app that you'll use the charms bar will be available either by swiping or by going to the corners on the right side of your screen now the charms bar gives you access to different uh, of course uh, options in Windows 8.1 you have the search search opens up uh, the search panel you can search for documents in your computer you can search for apps programs you can also search for different settings which is interesting as you can for example type control panel and you'll actually have control panel uh, show up in your search yeah. it's a little bit like if you've used Windows XP Vista and Windows 7 you notice that when you actually click the start orb or the start menu you uh, often had a little search space or if uh, you were installed in a different manner you had what was called search uh, simply written there on your um, list of programs and this is the new way of actually doing search and this search is very powerful it actually even searches the web so um, if you're looking for pictures or looking for uh, some articles uh, the little catch is that the web search is using Bing as the search engine, which is not the best search engine. Then next on the list you have the share icon. And the share icon is really cool. It simplifies so much the way we use Windows and it should have been there long time ago. Share is really a way an easy way to share all sorts of information for example if you want to share a picture with friends well when you're in your picture app clicking share will give you the possibility to share via email or via another every type of software that's available that can share that picture with other people um, it's really easy to use and that's the key factor of share is that every time you want to share for example an article a web article you uh, think a friend of yours might like it you can click share on your Internet Explorer and you'll share that article via email uh, via uh, all sorts of so social sites Facebook depending on the programs or the apps that are installed and that's the key of learning how to use the share function is that it will offer different ways of sharing depending on the apps and the programs you have installed and then we have what is called start basically start is the way to go directly to your start screen when you're in an app or in a piece of software on your desktop it does the same thing as the Windows key that you have on the bottom left of your keyboard so you can either go into charms bar tap start you can click the Windows key on the bottom left of your keyboard they are pretty much the same and they act in the same way 
clicking start will bring you to the start menu the start screen but clicking start again will bring you back to what you were doing so it really acts in the same way as the Windows key on the bottom left of your keyboard devices is another interesting little feature that is in the charms bar and it actually helps you um, in doing different features with your uh, all the devices you have at home for example if you have a printer well if you're somewhere in an app you're wondering can I print this by clicking devices you will see for example your printer show up and you'll be able to print from here if you are in a web page and you want to um, print it or do whatever depending on what type of devices you're using uh, it's really really interesting you can print document web pages um, and information from apps you can actually sh um, use with devices if you have uh, uh, an external display or maybe a projector you're doing some um, meetings and you want to project some of your screens on um, a, a bigger screen for a, a, a meeting then you uh, can click device and actually share that information with a second screen for example or a projector and um, there's a lot of hardware devices that actually use can use the share function so it depends on what you have installed depends on what devices you have on your computer uh, printers uh, projectors external screens and so on so this is really the place where you can easily share uh, stuff with your devices that you have connected to your computer and finally we have the settings and settings is really the Windows settings and the control panel and everything you might uh, want to change that is in the Windows 8 world there is a difference between the settings here and the control panel uh, Windows 8 is still kind of a dual world where you have the old way of working and the new way of working so uh, settings here brings you to that new world and it's a new way to change the different settings and customize uh, your screen and um, basically it's um, also giving you uh, settings that are for different apps that are running so for example when nothing's running settings will bring you to your change PC settings and you can also go into personalized styles and help but if you're in an app the same settings for example I go into Internet Explorer the same settings will give me different options so the settings icon in the charms bar is dependent on where you are in your computer so it's very important to know that if you're wondering how do I access settings from an app well you have to open the app and just go into your charms bar click settings this is going to give you the settings of the app or program that you are using so that's a quick look at the charms bar on the right side of your screen um, one thing that I would say is that you should actually click on the different options see what it does uh, click the search and see if you can search for something um, you can always click the Windows key on your keyboard if you want to get out of the uh, charms bar even if you're on a search or you're on a, uh, an object of the uh, charms bar you can also go back and touch anywhere on your screen where there's no tiles the charms bar is going to close down or click anywhere click the different options available depending on what you are using on your computer look at what it brings and of course um, if you are scared of using the uh, charms bar don't worry if you are in some options that you're not sure what to do simply move out of the charms bar and uh, click anywhere where there's no tiles and you'll you'll really not change anything and you can click here you see devices uh, projects print 
Just click and look around. It's the best way to learn. So your charms bar is available on the right side of your screen and it is one of the very important features of Windows 8.1. If you like our lessons, please subscribe to our channel and you will be notified every time new lessons are posted on YouTube. If you enjoy our videos, please give us thumbs up, please share them with everyone and hopefully you enjoy these videos and they help you learn how to use Windows 8.1 and you'll be uh, an expert after watching all of these videos. If you have any comments, questions, let us know. We will try to answer any questions and hopefully you will continue watching our videos and come back to the official Windows 8 channel. Thanks for watching and hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.